Hey guys, Useless here, and today we are going to be reacting to the Fallout uh, official trailer. Really like the teaser trailer. Um, I will say I've never played a Fallout game before, so I will be going into this show as a newbie. So uh, yeah, let's uh, get ready to uh, prepare myself to lose my virginity. Oh my gosh, it's a man. I'm here to show you a wonderful place. Whoa. Veritable Camelot, the nuclear age. Yeah, I mean, I know some things about it. I know that it's like about um, nuclear fallout. <laughs> um, kind of got that from the first trailer, and I know that like there are like vaults or something. So I wonder if he's showing us a vault. Um, which I don't. Again, I don't know this part for sure, but I'm guessing that vaults were. I guess like before the nuclear fallout. I guess they maybe humanity like advertised vaults. For people to to stay safe in, I, I don't know. I'm I'm spitballing here. Not made by God Almighty, but the working man. Okay, you interesting hear commentary about there. Seeing a residence and a vault tech vault today, because if the worst should happen tomorrow, the world is going to need you to build a better day after. Oh yeah, I swear I didn't pre-watch this. <laughs> oh my gosh! Look at all of this. Fallout. The mission of the vaults should be important to everyone. To come up to the surface one day and restart civilization. Can you tell me what's happened in the last 200 years? Holy shit. You're an actual vault dweller. I am. <laughs> okay, so there are a lot of people that... I mean, yeah, that makes sense. I guess, I guess, um, I, yeah, I guess it would, it would probably be only like rich people <laughs> that, that went into the vaults. I thought all you dipshits were dead. What you're doing is insane. I don't set the world. It isn't like the vault out there. It's big. Fire. So is she like the only person in her group that goes out, I guess? That makes sense. I've had a rough week. Practically every person I've met up here has tried to kill me. I'm simply going to harvest your organs. <laughs> you need to go. Yeah, I know that the game, or uh, the, the games, from what I understand, have like a bit of a an off, uh, off, kind of an off sense of humor, um, which I, I think is coming through in the in, in this trailer at least, and in the first one as well. You come from a world of rules, of laws. Out here, it just fell out. Not be alone. Why did you join the Brotherhood? To hurt the people who hurt me. People are going to come after you. Is that? Yeah, I also, I also, I think that um, the show is technically going to have three protagonists. Where it's going to be the lady that we just saw. It's going to be this guy, and. Um, it's going to be this guy as well, I think. And I guess this is like whatever version of the army exists, I guess, in the world of Fallout. Why did you join the Brotherhood? To hurt the people who hurt me. People are going to come after you. Ain't much stage clean up here, Vaulty. Oh my gosh, he has a really powerful gun. <laughs> well, now that is a very small drop in a very, very large bucket of drugs. Oh, also, you know, I want to watch it and then I guess I'll go through after and <laughs> pick it apart. Look out at this wasteland. Looks like chaos, but there's always somebody behind the wheel. The end of the world is just the beginning of fun. Okay, never mind. Got that wrong. <laughs> so again, I guess they're like mutated what monsters and stuff. Here? Everyone wants to save the world. They just. This is definitely giving me like um, maybe like kind of like. Okay, you know what? I just realized. <laughs> I'm just straight up racist. I was like, I was like, this is, 
I was what I was gonna say is this is kind of giving me uh the Force Awakens vibes, and I literally just realized that it's because there's like a girl out on her own. <laughs> she makes friends with a black soldier. But to be fair, it looks like that guy is gonna realize that him being a soldier is bad. So you know what? Not gonna make it a race thing. Boom. Reputation saved. So disagree on how. Doge. There you are. You oh my god. Interesting. Okay. I think this looks really cool. You know. That right there, however, does make me a little bit worried because what we've seen recently is that it's been it's been proven that in terms of streaming dropping your episodes weekly that is going to make your show more successful if your show is good we recently saw with echo they just dropped all the episodes at once and when you <laughs> and we saw why disney decided to do that cuz they had been dropping their episodes weekly uh up until that point um and amazon is a is a is a streaming platform that drops their episodes weekly so i'm not gonna lie seeing that all episodes are available on april 11th that makes me a little bit worried but the trailer was good okay well let's, let's go through and th- talk about it a little bit though because um so yeah this guy is the he's a uh, he's this guy um where is he? Yeah, he's he's this guy. So I was reading in... I remember when the first trailer came out and I was like reading like articles about it. So apparently this is a guy that I guess because of the radiation, he became immortal. So he's been alive this entire time. And so he's like a hitman character. Um, so yeah, we're bas- we've basically... I guess his whole character is that he's going to be somebody who's lost his humanity or whatever. So that's kind of interesting. A veritable Camelot of the nuclear age. Not made by God Almighty, but the working man. You can be a hero by purchasing a residence in a vault tech vault today. Because if the worst should happen tomorrow... Yeah, I'm trying to decide if there's anything else that I can really provide commentary on that I haven't already. I don't think so. I mean, I don't. <laughs> I don't know enough about these games. Oh, it's his dog. Okay, so there was a dodge, um, that I thought we saw later in the trailer. But yeah, so I guess, I guess, yeah, I'm not gonna go through and try and pick apart every single thing, but um, because I just don't know enough about uh enough about fallout but i guess one prediction i'll make is that it looks like he has the the deadpool looking guy it looks like he has a let's see where is it uh it looks like well he has a wife and kids and kids because we saw him kissing his wife there i'm not sure exactly where it is but we see a we see a frame where he's like carrying his daughter or something um, I'm not sure exactly where that is, but yeah, it looks like he has a wife and kids. So I'm, I'm making, you know, the wacky, the wacky, pr- whelps. I messed that up, didn't I? Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is a, dis- a disaster. <laughs> I was trying to see if I can easily like skim through it. But yeah, we saw that, we saw that this guy has like a wife and kids. So I'm assuming they're just dead <laughs> and that's going to be part of the show. Um, it seems like the, the the black guy, he's gonna be like a character that sees that the, the army is bad actually, so I have a feeling he's gonna turn against his people or whatever. Um, so that's gonna be interesting. Why did you join the Brotherhood? And yeah, it looks like they're gonna cross paths and whatnot. It looks like um maybe this guy is gonna teach the girl how to be how to kill people and stuff. I assume that's gonna happen. So So yeah, I don't know. I, I, I guess I won't go too much deeper into into it just because I'm not going to have much to comment on. But I think that the show looks pretty cool. <laughs> um, and uh, 
And yeah, the only thing that worries me is that they're dropping all the episodes at once, but hopefully there's other reasons why they would do that. <laughs> I don't, I can't think of any, but hopefully there are. So let me know what you think in the comments down below, especially if you're a Fallout fan. Let me know if you're excited or if you're not excited. Um, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.